stock of the day. Thought we'd take a look at Domino's. It's moving from uh, dealing with COVID impacts to facing inflation, telling shareholders it will reduce costs, maximise benefits of scale and lift prices where appropriate comes as the company's underlying profit fell 12.5%. Network sales up 4.6%. Uh, it opened 294 new stores in FY22 financial year and has already opened 13 new stores in July. Wow, don't forget, not just Australia, it's uh, uh, in Europe and Japan and the like. Uh, sales so far this year are down on last year, not providing clear guidance, but will pay a final dividend of uh, uh, 68 uh, cents per share. Um, Chief Executive Domino's on a little earlier to uh, talk about the outlook. Have a look. Once we roll this September period with Europe and Asia, um, then you know Australian New Zealand business is already really strong. It's some of our best numbers in, in years. It, it's the superstar right now. And I, I hope that by the time we get the AGM, we can see a positive number. By the half year, definitely see a positive number. We would have already now taken on those three markets. We'll have really strong store count growth and we'll be back to normal momentum. There's always a, there's always a, a, a condition on that in this new world. What else happens in Europe? You know, the, the, mm -hmm. with energy this winter, there are some unknown factors in amongst that. But if we try to think about what we know today and what we're doing, that would be my expectation that this is, and, and whilst we don't give guidance, we do give a three to five year outlook, three to 6% same store sales, eight to 10% store count network growth before acquisition. And if you count the acquisitions we've been doing, then you really blow those numbers away. So, you know, we're saying that we'll be over 4,000 stores by the end of next year, or with this acquisition, we're gonna go way, way through that. By 26, 27, we'll be 5,000 stores and our longer outlook is 7,000 stores. So it's natural that, you know, we've just had to come out of this COVID period, we've had inflation and, and shareholders just need to see that that's definitely uh, something that we're doing well with by the AGM in February. And I think we're gonna show that. All right, okay, market responded uh, pretty well today. The uh, shares are up something like five bucks at the moment. Um, Don, always a good performer. Henry, what do you think of the result and uh, the explanation from, from Don there? Is Don is good. <laughs> um, I think you know Don is a very very polished performer, isn't he? And, yep. and soothes market nerves. Which, uh, frankly, you know the results weren't exactly spectacular. Um, and uh, in you know in normal circumstances, we've seen how the market does punish. But I guess one thing that is going in their favour. I mean, these guys are a franchise operator, and they only have set regions where they can operate those franchises. Now they are taking over uh, 600 new store, 287 stores in Malaysia, Singapore, and Cambodia. I'm not sure how much the demand for Domino's pizza is in Cambodia, but oh, there you that's go. What you, that's what you said about Japan. Well, <laughs> well yeah, and, and it's proved to be true. Uh, <laughs> Japan has been uh, not doing very well uh, recently. But um, I, I think this one, for me, is a buy. I'm a bit of a pizza mm. snob, I must admit, but I think this one is a buy. Cheese prices have come down. Uh, around 10% in the last uh, month or so. So that is a positive. And, and Don talked about uh, some of the import costs coming down. Also, they put the surcharge on deliveries, uh, which took into account the rising fuel prices. And I bet your bottom dollar that now the fuel prices come down a little bit. Uh, they haven't taken that surcharge off. So that will end up being sticky, uh, which is good news as well. And you'd have to think that in an environment where economic growth is slowing, and we are seeing recessionary risks, uh, certainly in Europe and gas prices, oil prices, et cetera, in Europe and electricity in the UK, absolutely through the roof. Um, the humble pizza at uh, five, six bucks is going to make a bit of a comeback. Mm. So I, I think this one has been uh, a little oversold and it's got a short position of around three and a bit percent. And certainly the, uh, the new Asian strategy does give it a growth leg. And as you know, Don does talk good talk. So, uh, you know, yeah. it's up uh, nearly 9% today, but certainly, you know, we have seen those cost pressures starting to abate a little bit. I guess staffing issues still remains somewhat of a problem because we know staff are short uh, in terms of uh, not their stature, but in terms of uh, finding the <laughs> staff. But um, yeah, for me, this is a buy. Uh, it's fallen a hell of a long way, yes. to be honest, uh, Koshi. And uh, it's showing signs of growth again. Mm. Andrew? 
Yeah, look, uh, Koshi, I, I think it's a buy as well. Um, certainly the uh, performance over the last 12 months hasn't been too flash, down 51% prior mm -hmm. to today. So uh, there's a, a fair bit to go there yet. And for all the common sense reasons that my learned friend was just going through relating to labour shortages, uh, input costs, and of course, as Don was saying, the, uh, the dark cloud on the horizon for them is around Europe. But uh, I, I think they, they're pulling all the, the right levers and uh, I think it's a buy. Consensus is $89 uh, um, in the uh, earnings call just before they were talking about uh, cheese, which is their biggest input. Uh, costs are starting to abate a little bit there and that they're actually looking at increasing some prices but maintaining value at the other end. So, you know, what they call that barbell strategy. So they seem to uh, be going about it the right way. Um, yep, it's a buy. Okay.